So here we are with Sean and also with Russell and we're trying out the R66 with autopilot. An interesting machine. Um, well, that's, uh, that is actually very sizable, isn't it? the launch, we had two girls in the back of there. <laughs> yeah, that's a serious size. My pass ratio that. is quite low, that's what's so clever about it. Um, and nobody thought, not even um, Rolls Royce, they were like, it won't work. It does work. The blokes are bloody genius. Um, and they run. It's not even getting to the start up line. And that was starting at 150 degrees. When she gets to 55, she's self sustained because she clicks out the start. Well, this really is a very, very smooth machine. Uh, very, very light on the controls. A real pleasure to fly. One of the really nice things about this machine is the autopilot. I mean, look at this, just hands off, set it all up and just fly along. Easy peasy. Uh, one of the things I did ask uh, Sean was about uh, engine failures and auto rotation. So he uh, clearly demonstrated it here, you know, the engine and the rotor blades uh, totally disconnected at this point. Uh, his uh, house was down below us and he's got a little landing area there that he uses. And so we just uh, went down very, very slowly, nice and smoothly. And uh, Sean landed it outside his house on auto rotation, so no power at all to the rotor blades. Well, some years ago, um, Sean, apart from being uh, an airline pilot for many years, was also a crop sprayer and uh, he showed us some of his low flying skills, which was great. Uh, so here we are now on the way back, uh, having had a really fantastic uh, flight with uh, Sean and Russell. Um, this is really is an amazing machine. Uh, it's very, very smooth. It looks easy to fly, and I'm sure yep. it is. Yep. Uh, and then we landed on the uh, lawn outside of Russell's house, and of course went in and had a, a cup of tea. Wonderful.